Well, I finally got on board. Maybe it's a little too late to show you, but today's dandy family car, the new Mazda CX-60. Good evening, guys. I love the engines. I'm Campak Daddy, and you're watching Dandy Family Car. Many of you may have been looking for the stylish SUV that isn't too massive. It's huge, but it has smooth, sleek appearance, just like Mazda. The body size is quite large in Japan. There are seven body colors in total, as usual Mazda, the and calm color palette. This is Rhodium White Premium Metallic, and I borrowed the XD Hybrid Exclusive Sports Grade. Uh, complicated. The design emphasizes the sense of massiveness, as in the recent Kodo design, in the dilemma of whether to make it sleek line, no, 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 to make it look bigger. I think they did a very good job. My personal favorite design point is the side silhouette. Mmm, more than livability. Just make it long notes, buddy! Do it! I can feel the policy. Nice, nice. The 20 inch wheel looks like this. It looks cool. The suspension is a double wishbone in the front and the rear multi link based on the design concept of the MX5. Oh, six suspension arms. It must be a real SUV. Well designed for the aerodynamics and mud. I'll talk about the ride here in the test drive chapter. Oh, the Mazda Otsuzan Kashiwa no Ha Campus Bunch co-created in shooting this video. Thank you very much for the cooperation. Now, let's focus on the front. The eyes are not sharp, but rather solid. Despite their body size, small eye, so it looks larger than it is. Hey, hey, what with old tiny light? The Koto design had become Ronald Twingo. Honestly, I thought so at the time of launch. However, the blinker lines are connected, so when they light up, it gives a sharp impression. If without this, I died instantly. Now the rear. A sleek hip, like the Mazda Street. Of course, the lamps grow at the rear gate as well. Very high quality with no unevenness in color. But the atmosphere is reminiscent of previous generation BMW. I want a little more originality. The luggage gate is electric operator, premium feel. Yep, a big car, so it's spacious, including camping gear or something, you can load anything on it. The seats are 4 to 4 split type and there is a switch on the side to fold it down. Excellent! But it doesn't feel smooth. Please learn from Subaru in this area. This is optional luggage mode. I'm not sure under can hold most of it if you put a subwoofer in it. Check it out engine compartment, bro! <laughs> the engine is nearly invisible. Is it also designed for sandproofing? It looks a lot of effort to reduce noise. Oh, <laughs> this is not level of suspension rigidity. Wow, it's not pressed. It must be casting, cast aluminum. The engine is in 96 Chokuloku. But pick out. Hey, look at this. There is six cylinder. Doesn't it make you sizzle? It's a DC PCI combustion structure, which has about 1.5 wider combustion area than the previous 2.2 liter diesel. Makes less suit formation. Woohoo! I like these Mazda's technological innovation even in such invisible places. However, even though it's less likely to occur, there are still areas where soot is generated. For example, if you try to run 40 or 50 km per hour at the about 1500 RPM with full torque, soot will be generated. If you do not rough driving, such as sudden acceleration. In other words, if you drive within this area, the maintenance cost due to suit will be much less. I think Mazda's cars are made in a way that shows their true potential when we are driven carefully. Okay, let's check out the rear seat. Oh my, the rear door lining is great! Of course, I'll show you the front seat later, but the quality is exactly the same. Very high quality. However, when the door is closed, there are a little hollow sound. 
it's enough thick and airtight, but how can I say it doesn't have enough filling feeling. You got it? No? The seat looks like this. Okay, let's get in. The roof is lower yeah. than I expected, yeah. <laughs> and it may be yeah. difficult for tall people to get in. It feels like you have to do a running jump. <laughs> I'm 175 centimeters tall, and there is not much headroom. The seat has a thicker and softer feeling. There is enough space both knee and feet. The visibility is also like riding a large saloon. Mm, it's cozy. But however, there are no sunshade on the window. This dignity of the car, I would like to have them. I always wonder if there is demand for this. Let's do a dandy check. The chive locks on the rear door still use a special key. Mm, it's a little bit inconvenient. Isofix bracket, check. The cup holder has a flap so you can fit the baby's bottle. This is nice. There is an independent switch on the room lamp so you can safely make some milk while driving at night. The car seat is easy to operate, but the roof may be quite obtrusive for the height of the car. The seat pillar area is carved out in the shape of the bow. So you can reach the baby even with the door open one notch. Uh, but I guess it depends on the parking lot space. I put the basic size A stroller in it. Maybe it's because they were too focused on the long nose and the inline six engine. For a car of this size, could not to place it vertically. Hmm, this was unexpected. Please check the size carefully when you buy a stroller. This is a panoramic view from the rear seat. Wow, so cool! The aluminum-like texture is very nice. However, they look a bit Audi-inspired to me. This is a black interior version, and the stitching is doing a great job. The contrast of the modern grey is also nice. Mm. The navigation screen is very big and wide, and I can say that the small screen problem has been solved once and for all. Now, the centerpiece of this car is the 3.3 inline 6 diesel, you know. But normally, having more pistons would be greater mechanical frictional resistance. But the resistance is actually lower than the previous 4 cylinder. The reason why is the steel piston used in this project. Aluminum has a higher coefficient of expansion than the rate at which volume expands with the temperature than steel. So when the engine is hot, the aluminum piston expands slightly which causes greater resistance against the cylinder wall. This is why they decided to use steel pistons to reduce the resistance. If it were simply replaced with steel, it would be too heavy but they made it so that it can comfortably rotate up to 5000 rpm by reducing its weight. This is the second generation of Sky Active Diesel. I didn't realize there was such an effort hidden in high fuel efficiency. Whether it's the engineer's spirit or geeky spirit. Anyway, it's a good job. Next, check out the front seat. As usual, the use of chrome and stitching accent is skillful. Lots of soft material and switches are all in surface. And we can get this for about 4 million yen. What are they thinking? An idiot? Inside looks like this. Now let's get in. The first thing that catches my eye is continuous design line to the door and dashboard. The AC vent is a bit gold color. The color of the stitching and the silver color were chosen to avoid conflict. Would you go that far? However, the elbow rest denting problem when pressed from the inside remains the same since CX30. It's not visible, but it's a bit of disappointment when I open. Please improve soon. The steering wheel is. Why not use the same steering wheel as the Mazda 3? Th that's okay, I don't care. Ah, uh, slightly different design. This one has more masculine style. Because it's Mazda, I omitted driving position. The 10-way power seat makes perfect fit. 
The speedometer is a 12.3 inch full display. The contrast is good and easy to watch. Anyway, every single animation is so cool. This is the rear view from the driver's seat. Although it's a large vehicle, but it has a quarter window, so easy to see. Forward view is so-so because the A-pillar is lying down. But it's much better than before. Large display and hazard button. Under the moist, fluffy touch is AC unit. Heated and ventilated seat. Oh, heated steering wheel and more. Gorgeous. Underneath is the tray for wireless charging and drive mode button. When the sport mode is selected... <laughs> cool! From MX30, this Sifnar was adapted. There is also heat decent mode button. Mm, like SUV. Cup holders on the left. Electric parking brake hold button and Mazda connect controls. Plenty of strays in elbow rest. There are two Type-C sockets. The overhead has very thin frame with a smiller. Map lamps and sunglass holder which is nice made. SOS call button and rule shade open close button. Let me try. Oh, huge window. Oh, beautiful sky. So, how was it? New Mazda CX-60 exterior interior chapter. Well, above all else, it's the price for the quality. I think Mazda's attraction is a price range that even the poor young generation can afford. Mm, so luxurious, cool looking, big and powerful, uh, inline 6 diesel, and no CVT, right? And it's priced from the 4 million yen. If other makers do this, maybe more than 6 million yen. Moreover, a petrol model will be the 3 million yen range. That's crazy! Why don't they go bankrupt doing business like this? Oh, no, 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 please don't go. I mean, that's how shocked I was. <laughs> okay, next time I will take you on a test drive. How was the ride of new inline 6 diesel? Please subscribe and wait a few days. Even if you become a dad, please ride that you think will be cool car. Now to daddies and mommies around the world, good job today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.